Hello, welcome to the channel. This video is talking about six idioms that help you to be more expressive in English. Let's get started. The first idiom we want to share is hit the boat. The idiom hit the boat doesn't really mean physically hit the boat. It simply means study hard. Let's take a look at the example. He must hit the boat as the examination is coming. Before the examination comes, he really has to study, so he hits the book. Very nice. Then we move on to idiom number two. In English, if I want to tell somebody I'm really tired and want to go to bed, instead of going to bed, I could say, I'm now going to hit the sack. The idiom hit the sack simply means go to bed. Let's take a look at this example. Studying for over a month, finally I could hit the sack. So after studying for such a long time, we could finally take some rest. Very nice. Then we move on to idiom number three. Twist someone's arm. If somebody is not willing to do so, but only a particular person could persuade him to do something, then we could say that somebody could twist his arm. Let's take a look at the example. Tom rejected to come to the party. Hey, only you could twist his arm. Which means that Tom is not willing to come and you could persuade Tom to come. So you could twist his arm. Then we move on to idiom number four. Stab someone in his back. In English, if we want to say someone betray another one, instead of using the word betray, we could use stab somebody in his back. Hey, I couldn't stab my best friend in his back by telling you his secret. So I can't betray my best friend by telling you the secret. Okay, very nice. Then we move on to idiom number five. In English, if we want to tell suddenly we lost a certain ability that we used to have, we could say, I lost my touch. Example, I can't finish my homework as I lost my touch in mathematics in the southern. So, don't expect me to finish the homework because I lost my touch. I suddenly lost the ability. Very nice. Then we move on to the last idiom. Let's take a look. Idiom number six. Sitting tight. Sitting tight doesn't really mean to ask somebody to sit properly. Instead, they're asking somebody to wait patiently. Let's take a look at the example. A three hour sitting tight, it just for a five minutes conversation. Many PhD students got a secondary one interview, but before they really have an interview, they have to wait patiently in the waiting room. Usually, it takes more than an hour. So, the teacher may ask them to sit tight. Very nice. That's all for today. See you next time. Remember, like this video and subscribe our channel. Goodbye.